All right, first thing you want to do is uh, shine shine this copper up, get it nice and clean with some inner cloth. When you weld to it, if it's clean, the copper brazing rod is going to take to it real quick. If it's not clean, you're going to have a hard time. Want that nice and clean? Put this where we want it. This is a map gas oxygen torch. It's actually pretty easy even though it looks scary. It's not. It's almost like soldering. Get this nice and hot. Once it's hot, it'll just flow right in. If you're a little messy at first, it's okay, you can clean it up. Once it's right, nice and even all around, Smooth it out, let it flow, and we're done. That one's done. We'll get the other side. This is our inlet side. That on. cleaned up and I'm gonna bend it a little so I can get in and around it because we're gonna weld this part right here so we've got to be able to get in and around it so I can get to all this part if I have to I'll flip it over and come in on the inside and get that and up here we're just gonna put a quarter inch nipple get that on and then we can go ahead and put our fitting on that I'm going to get about a two inch flame on your map gas first and then feed in the oxygen so you have a nice blue flame you get the hang of this Welding rod's going to flow where the heat is. If you want to move it, pull your heat back. It'll travel along the copper tube. Smooth it out. If you want to make sure you got it on your fitting, come on up here. Get some heat up here and it'll follow the heat. Make sure you don't have any voids. There we go. Just smooth out. That's nice. So I'll probably have to do the inside. Alright, so I've bent this up a little so I can get it all the way around it. 
when we're all done, this copper is so soft after, after you've heated it, we can get this reformed. And roughly when we want all our fittings in line, we'll get that when we're done. All right, so we're going to try to fit the sheet metal shroud. And the idea is I'm going to put a little uh, pipe sealant compound. And I use this one. Um, it's good for gas or water, up to 100 psi, and it it uh, it dries pretty hard and stiff. So we're just going to put a little of that on these threads. Follow the instructions. I haven't had any problem with this stuff. It's been great. You're just going to go a quarter turn past tight, and. Um, you can disassemble things later if you want. This works real well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna loosely put this together so you can see what you're trying to do. So this one fits in here. And then the next one is the water probe. The idea is you can disassemble this, take it apart if you want. It's always nice to be able to take something apart if you put it together wrong or you want to change something. So I'm just going to lift this. Get it in the right spot. I'm not going to spend a lot more time showing you this. You get the idea. We'll put this nipple in here. And now you can visualize things that we've been talking about. together right now, but that's going to be our outflow for our safeties and our dump valve. And then this will actually be welded on to the kit. This component and this component will be welded. And for this top piece, even though it looks kind of awkward, you can just reach in here and line yourself up. But these, these pieces need to be welded together to be nice and tight together. And we'll get our flu in here. And then you can position you can position this uh, gauge how you want. And our inflow will come here. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is we'll set it up on the on the furnace portion and see how it looks. All right, so this is how the control is going to look over here. So the next step is to get the door on. That's, that's what we're talking about. And the steam engine is going to sit sit here, or wherever you like. This whole, this whole unit can turn any way you want. You can have this facing, facing the door if you want. This needs to be horizontal, so it can empty and fill. And then the dump valve can actually go closer to the um, steam engine if you like. It's important to have the safety valve as close to the outlet as you can. All right. One of the next steps is we will uh, fire it and get the um, get the furnace cement cured. 
There you go.